This is going to be just a really quick clip. Um, what I'm making here is perchloric acid or HClO4. This is a very simple prep. And uh, I've seen this done on YouTube. However, um, a lot of times when I've seen it done, what I see people doing is... Um, oh, well, let me back up, I guess. First of all, the way that we are making this here is... This is muriatic acid, or roughly 31.5% HCl, that is in this flask. And to that, we basically add um, a ton of ammonium perchlorate. And I don't even measure it when I do this. What I do is I just um, keep adding it until none uh, or no more will dissolve at room temperature and then I start heating it as I you see I'm doing here and then I add uh, a little bit more and by a little bit more I mean like maybe one or two tablespoons worth of ammonium perchlorate um, and so back to what I was starting to say a lot of people that I see do this um, they they do not and you can see let me back up here so you can see it I am set up here for reflux. I have, you know, here's my water reservoir. Um, I have the uh, Claisen adapter here just because, uh, uh, in case I had to add any more HCl to this, meaning if, you know, some escape past the condensers, uh, then I could add more easily, but I, I haven't needed to because my. Uh, reflux uh, my condensers are very efficient here and as you see I've got an Allen condenser here with uh, water this is ice cold water running through it and then up here I've got a Dimroth condenser and it's just acting as an air condenser I've just got a little uh, rag over top of it just to keep shit from flying down into it um, but anyhow so what I was saying is is that a lot of people do not set up for reflux like this that I've seen do it on YouTube what they'll do is just basically let all the HCl fumes just kind of fuck off and uh, when when they do that you know they have to keep adding hydrochloric acid over and over again um, you can see here that I have if you can see it right there I have come on damn it there you go focus um, I have marked the flask just like uh, you know you typically do when you want to uh, know where your volume level is, and um, we we need to maintain that same volume throughout. And so when you're just letting all the HCl fumes just you know go off into the atmosphere and do their thing and destroy any metal that is nearby, you have to keep adding hydrochloric acid over and over again to get to that point or to keep it at that point or that level I should say you know right there so the way I do it is I set up for reflux like this and as long as it's an efficient enough reflux uh, or efficient enough condensation I should say then you don't have to worry about doing that and it's less wasteful um, obviously and it's less harmful to the environment around you at least anything metal or anything that can be corroded by the HCL um, and so uh, the basic process is really simple. Like I said, there's ammonium perchlorate in this. And so initially, as we're refluxing it, uh, we get a lot of NH3 or ammonium coming off. And so what we do is we let this go until all of the ammonium is done uh, being evolved, i.e. you cannot smell anymore. Uh, coming out of the top of the condenser if you know you waft your hand and you take a, a whiff of it um, And then what I do is after all of the ammonium is gone um, I just keep refluxing it for um, usually about two hours and um, it, This is just to ensure that all of the uh, perchlorate salt has reacted with it and then it's a simple process of just allowing this to cool and we crystallize out um, that uh, there's uh, should be inevitably excess um, 
ammonium perchlorate in here. Uh, and so, so, I guess what I just said a minute ago isn't it isn't exactly true as far as all of it reacting. There will be some excess left over, and you need that because what that tells you is if there's excess ammonium perchlorate left over when you're done, that means that all of the stoichiometric amount has reacted, and that excess then lets you know that you have true um, the concentrated as you can get perchloric acid, which is what we want because you can always dilute it later. Um, so I'm going to let this reflux. This has already been reflexing for almost two hours, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the heat off right now, and I'm going to let this cool slowly, and then I will come back. Um, and, uh, you know, just because these are such beautiful crystals, I will go ahead and uh, come back and show you what it looks like when it crystallizes out. Um, and then uh, what we need to do then is uh, get the crystals that form at ambient temperature out of it. And then we'll chill it in the fridge and get out the remaining uh, crystals that, that, you know, come out when you get it down to... Uh, like I'm gonna have my fridge around five Celsius. So um, All right, I will be back when it's time to uh, Filter off the crystals Okay, so here's the perchloric acid what it looks like after sitting in the fridge for a couple of days You can see all the big ass massive crystals of AP down in there and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna filter all these out um, I just, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. Now, perchloric acid is a very, very strong oxidizer, and it will actually eat through the paper just like sulfuric acid will, and it doesn't even have to be warm like sulfuric acid has to be and able to eat through it very quickly. So, you can see I don't have any type of filter media in this whatsoever. Um, I'm just going to filter it straight through, and then I'm going to chill the filtrate again, and, um... So that should I, I'm going to try to be as careful as I can breaking these crystals up with a glass rod and this should trap 99% of the crystals and anything that passes through that um, I'll chill the filtrate again as I was saying and then I'll filter it quickly through a uh, glass centered um, filter and that will take out the rest of them and um, honestly um, anytime I've done this, I usually end up having to filter it two or three times and chilling in between to make sure that I get all the excess AP out. Uh, so it's not like I'm creating an extra step by doing this. Um, I'm just doing it this way because then we get the bulk of the large crystals out and we don't um, risk having all the real fine particulates because some of them can get really fine um, semi-clogging our glass frit and making the filtration go really slow so it's actually faster i found in my experience anyhow initially filtering it like this um <clears throat> through a, a uh, buchner funnel that's how you pronounce it i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know if it's buchner or buchner my, my german isn't that great so if anybody wants to uh correct my phonetics in the comments please feel free but anyhow I, I found it's faster to do it this way so um let me get a glass stir rod and then we'll get this filtering 